I really like what I see in the world around me. Anything that's beautiful, you know, just like to look at things. And of course, when I'm painting, I can make something beautiful to my own taste, to my own design. That's a very pleasing thing to do. I make my own world. It's a very childlike private place that it comes from. It's just inside of me. I am totally inside of myself. And if I'm inside of myself like that and I go out, it's like I'm turning myself inside out. I have to believe that all those people out there can see what I see. My work is about color and about paint. There's color, there's paint, there's line, and I try to get light into it, but that does not provide a description that can make a picture for anybody. A painting for me is what you see. I mean, very often there's a story or there's some kind of symbolism There can be a whole lot of meaning in the mind of the artist, but as far as I'm concerned, you either see it or don't see it with your eyes because painting is visual. While sometimes I'm interested in the story, it's not gonna carry the painting. If the painting doesn't make it on its own, I find the story meaningless. There are some paintings that have very strong messages, but they're right there, you can see them. And they can be powerful, but they're powerful visibly. And my feeling is that, you know, if you have something to say that needs words, well, write it. Or uh, if it needs a movement, well, you know, make a mobile or a movie. But painting has got to come in through your eyes. Painting is for me what I do. It's what I do, what I have to do, what, what my life needs, what I need. It nourishes me. It, uh, it brings me so much joy. It's a need. I need to paint. I need to work. And I want to always have that need. It just carries me along. It um, makes me want to get up in the morning and it makes me want to go to bed at night so that I can wake up in the morning and do it all over again. <laughs> I like doing things. I like to work. And I like feeling that when I do some work, I'm going to wind up with a result. It's not like cooking that, you know, you, you, you can spend some hours in the kitchen and you cook something and everybody sits down and suddenly it's gone. With, with a painting, you make a painting and there it is, you have it. You might eventually give it up you know, to, to, to hang it in somebody else's house or sell it or something. But there's an object that is lasting and I like that. I like having something to keep and something that reminds me that I can do it. I, to look back and, uh, and feel a certain pride in, in something that I made.
this is what I do and this is what I will do. And if I, you know, if, if I go down in flames, I go down in flames, but this is what I do. Yeah, just like I eat and I sleep and I breathe and I paint. I started as a painter and I abandoned it. I painted or drew or did whatever I did all my life and then stopped and, you know, just painted very sporadically and not seriously for, for years. My life was about being married and raising my children and uh, having a very interesting job I was teaching. That life that I was living was very comfortable and very safe. I mean, everything was in place. You know, the home, the cars. Actually, since I was living in a third world country, I had maids. It was a good life. It couldn't have been more perfect by anybody's standards. My life was very full. And then um, one day it just wasn't my life anymore. I had to paint. I had to use that part of myself that just wanted, wanted to live again. Uh, I, I just wanted to be who I was. I was 45 years old. I had this feeling of, I was deceiving myself. I wasn't being who I was. I, I, and that sounds kind of corny and new age-ish to me, but that's what I was feeling, like I was living a lie. I just was tired. I was tired of being a mother. I was tired of being a wife. I was tired of teaching. I just wanted to throw the entire life away. I just wanted to chuck it all. I, I, I just wanted to paint. And, and I did. I, uh, you know, I gradually ended the marriage, um, resigned from the university. Walking away from that made me feel, you know, made me wonder if I was just doing something a little bit crazy. I felt um, sort of traitorous to, to that life that I had and, and, and to my children uh, for, you know, just suddenly um, throwing it all away. But it almost felt like I had no choice. I had to do it. Otherwise, I felt like, you know, I, I was just going to fade away. It wasn't my life anymore. Even before all of that, I just set up this little room in the house with my paints and my easel and, and started painting. The fever was such that the kids would come down at night and take me out of that room and take me to my bedroom because I couldn't stop. I felt like I was this bottle of champagne and I was just bubbling over. I was so excited to be painting. <laughs> it was like, you know, suddenly was like, where has this been for so long? And it just went whoosh. And I painted and painted and painted and I put together a beautiful show. It was a wonderful show, and I was very proud of it and very excited. And I haven't stopped since. I just suddenly was who I was. And I was so happy, so there was no choice to be made. There was no decision. It just happened, and so I left everything. There's a, a certain amount of grief with that, because I left people that I loved. I left, you know, friends of, 25 years that uh, I had shared my life with in, in, in Venezuela. I came back to this country and uh, set up a studio and got a, a lot of advice about what a big mistake I was making <laughs> from a lot of people. Like, how was I going to support myself? And um, I was so 
romantic and full of fantasy. I, you know, I just thought it'll work. It'll work. I'll make it work. You know, I'll just work and make it work. And I, and I worked. And you know, it's a. When I look back at it, I look back in amazement. You know, if I, if I had known. I probably would have done it anyway, but I would have been even more scared than I was because, you know, while I, I, um, I kind of plodded on and passed everyone's advice and, and reality itself, I was scared. And in the first studio that I set up, I had a little sign on the wall that said, breathe. <laughs> I never, I never, never forgot that. But at the same time, I was doing this beautiful work. I was so pleased with myself you know there was this feeling of uh, I am a painter I am a painter this is what I do the path hasn't been easy but I feel so blessed I am so happy to do what I do I build my my life around painting now it's what my my day is about and what I think about when I'm not doing it My name is Joan Gold. I'm a painter. <laughs>